A bill granting immunity to the presiding officers of the national and state assemblies has scaled second reading in the House of Representatives. And child beggars have been banned in Kano, but in Lagos State, beggars are protesting harassment and arrest of their members by state officials. This is Plus Politics, and I am Benny Ark. The leadership of the legislative arm might be untouchable by the law going forward as a bill granting immunity to the presiding officers of the National and State Assemblies as scaled second reading in the House of Representatives. The bill seeks to amend Section 308 of the 1999 Constitution, which says that the president, vice president, and state governors and their deputies are free from all forms of civil and criminal prosecution while in office. Is this a good idea? Joining us to discuss this this evening on Plus Politics, it's Ugo Chukwe, a political analyst. Thank you, Ugo Chukwe, for joining us this evening. Thank you very much for having me. And also, we have legal practitioner Tunji Abdul Hamid. Thank you, Tunji, for joining us also. Thank you for having me. Now, is, should we be deliberating this bill in the first instance? Ugo Chukwe, let me start with you. I, I, don't, I don't think we should be uh, talking about it, uh, but it is happening. Uh, we're at a point where there have been conversations in the past where people have uh, conversed and asked that the immunity that the uh, executive enjoy should be uh, removed from them so that it gives, doesn't take, it doesn't take, uh, they don't have this liberty to do whatever they feel they can do in office. And so to have the, uh, to have the legislature bringing in this, at this point doesn't, uh, doesn't help uh, the, co the conversation around our governance, uh, around our policy, because uh, Nigeria is, 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 is passing through a difficult moment now. So we have insecurity, we have a lot, a lot of things bothering us, but, uh, the registration is supposed to make that they're supposed to uh, make bills that are productive, that can help the citizens, that can help the people, that can help the country. Uh, busy thinking about making themselves invisible in corridors of power, and this does not help us. And this is not where we're supposed to go uh, as a country. And Tunji, what are your thoughts on this bill? Yeah, it's I passed the second reading already. I mean, yeah, it's in the number no, to pass through mm. second reading. Yeah, you know, the first reading is a mere introduction. Yes. Second reading is a little bit debates. Then before it goes to the uh, the, the public hearing, this, uh, before the third uh, reading, I have a, I am indifferent in this uh, situation. It's neither my position is neither there nor, nor here. Why I say so is that look, why I believe that this uh, immunity clause is unnecessary. I also have, want to have a, a second thought on the fact that look, when you look back and see what happened in the, in the eighth assembly, you want to agree that uh, probably they may, they may want to need it. If we want, if if we are to, if we are not, if we are retaining uh, the president's uh, president's immunity, I, I think uh, it should be extended to the national assembly and should be extended to, the, to be extended to the head of the judiciary. If we are not going to, if we are not going to, if any, any of the arms of the head of the arms of the government will not have, if one arm of the government will have immunity, others should also have the immunity. Mm -hmm. you remember what happened during uh, uh, the Eighth Republic when Salaki was being made to face uh, uh, what's it called litigation just because he was seen as being firm. Or not agreeing to what the what the what the what the, what the executive is is, is saying, or yes. trying to do his job by challenging and by surprising and by ensuring that there's check and balances, they were trying to prosecute and bring all, all sorts of manner. Look at how the our, our former CJN was removed just because uh, they was there. If, they are, if that immunity was there, all those things would not have been possible. But ordinarily, we, do, we ought not to have that anything immunity for anybody. But if we are having, if we are retaining for the executive, the the head of the executives. I, I believe those, the head of the National Assembly too, and the judiciary inclusive, should, be, should also be entitled to immunity. Now, maybe we'll have, there's been call for the, the whole of the 1999 Constitution to be amended in its entirety. But is, is this right that we have the, the legislature calling for, for a section of the, of the, of the um, Constitution to be amended, which some people feel is just to serve a selfish interest? Should there be a section of the 1999 Constitution that should be amended or the entirety of the Constitution as it stands right now? Go to go. There have been campaign around uh, extending, uh, reforming the Constitution, yes. uh, making, some, making some important changes. Uh, for me, it might not be all, but I feel there's some, sec there's some section that's supposed to be amended and the rest of them. Uh, for one, I believe that the, 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 the form of stru structure we have at this moment does not help us as a country. We we'll have what I call a feeding bottle fe federalism, where you know, governors who stay till the 26th of the month and they collect allocation from Abuja. And basically, they do nothing with it. So at the end of the day, there is no competition among states to improve themselves. So if 
if we're going to have conversation about amending our, const uh, our constitution, I, I want it to be from the place of decentralization, devolution of powers that would help state to compete, that help state to look in one and say, okay, what do we have? How do we do that? We had it in the past during the Awolowos and the, and the, uh, the Ali's and the Balas uh, in the, in around 1979 and rest of them. So th those, are, those are things I want, I want to see in our constitution. Yes. Those are the conversations that we expect to have at the National Assembly. But what we'll have here are, are men and women who are, who are purely driven by their interest to, to, to amass wealth and not to make uh, changes that can shape the country and make the country better. So it's sad that we are having this conversation, but that is not what we're supposed to have as a country. Now, Tunji, there, there, are, few, there are few of these um, House of Red people who have um, a few corruption allegations against them. Don't you think this bill would entirely protect them from being prosecuted No, it's if, not, it, if, it, if it goes through? No, the immunity is not for the entire member of the National Assembly. It's for the leadership of the National Assembly. That is, the, the, the Senate President, the Deputy Senate President, the Speaker, and the Deputy Speaker, just like the Executive, the yes. President and the Vice President. Like you said, it should be an unnecessary uh, uh, bill. But I'm looking, why I say uh, they, 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 they should be given that immunity is, I, I was looking at the experience of you what happened. You were saying they should be given the immunity. No, I was saying, look, looking back at what happened in, uh, in the Eighth Assembly, yes. regarding the Salaki situation, where he was trying to do his job the way it should be done. In other words, they trying to perform the role of check and balances and ensuring that look, they are not being influenced by the by the executive. Because of that, it was it was put to, to go through a lot of uh, the uh, uh, what's it called litigation. And then you know the essence of this immunity is to prevent the, the leadership from being distracted from their major businesses. But, but so if you if that, if, that if, that if, is if a case is how are we sure this immunity is just gonna protect them from being, let's use the word, winch hunt or being distracted from their job and not necessarily still as a way to protect them when it comes to corruption cases and um, irregularities. Yeah. How, how can we ensure the bill will also not protect no, them? If, if, even, yeah. even where a, 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 a particular person has an immunity, yeah. that does not prevent him from being uh, investigated. And that does not prevent uh, any, any agency from taking action against that person after leaving the office. You can remember uh, your father, governor, your father, uh, former governor Ayofayoshi. He was investigated while in, while in power. And immediately when he left, he was, he was, he was picked up. The problem we have in, the, in this country is insincerity. If you look back at the data assembly, this same bill was, in, was, 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 was trying to, they, they tried to introduce kind of a bill at that time. But that, that, those who are behind the bill today were those who are calling those, who are, uh, those people at that time as thief that they want to use it to, to, to corner uh, the, the country. They want to use it for their own personal benefit. And the same people are today are the one calling for this kind of a, a bit. The insincerity on our part is what, what, what we are having in this country. Ordinarily, we don't need any immunity for anybody. We don't need immunity. Because it's, but a situation where I, why I, I was supporting the, the immunity, that if, if at all one arm of the government, a head of arm of the government, particularly the presidency, we have immunity. Other, other, what's it called, arms too, should have. They have we have three arms of government for, for goodness sake. They are all equal as far as I'm concerned under our law. The executive, the legislative, and they are all equal under our law. The where one person is being protected, another has been left under the masses of the, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the other one. The executive has the control of the agencies on, uh, that prosecute on, in, in, in its hand. They don't go through the, to the executive. They use that executive, uh, the, that agency, to, 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 to intimidate and harass those other agencies, uh, head of the agency, to do their bidding. Like I said, you see what uh, Salaki faced at, 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 at the assembly. You see how the former CGN was removed just by way of expert application. I don't, I don't believe that can happen in the country where we, have a, we are following law. How can you remove somebody by way of expert application? A particular, especially a head of an arm of government in the country. So if that immunity was, was to be there, they, are, they, are, they won't be able to use that opportunity to, t to, to take that a particular uh, Now, uh, would, you, would, you, would you agree with a few people who have argued the fact that this, this, um, this immunity actually, this bill will will we'll provide a meeting for some airing officers already as a stance. Uh, there, 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 there is sense in the argument. Yes. The, the argument is valid. Uh, but the, the, the truth is that uh, even across both the executive, uh, the judiciary, and yes. the legislature, you, you've seen people that have uh, done what they're not supposed to do according to the law. So for those that make the argument that if this thing comes into place, yes. some, uh, some the principal officers of the National Assembly we use it to their own benefit. That argument is valid. But it, the truth is this. Uh, we don't know what is going to happen in the coming days and the coming weeks. But if that, if, if that possibility comes up and the person is, is, is prevented from prosecution because of the immunity, if it comes into, into, into being, uh, when, like you say, when, when the, the, his tenure is over, yeah. the person will face adequate prosecution. And, 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 and that, that, is, that would be it. Now, the, the, we, we have security, insecurity issues facing the nation. And people have said, this is not the time for this bill, and the House seems to be focusing on what they should be focusing on, and it comes of a bit personal. 
personal gains and interests here and not necessarily the collective interests of Nigerians. Well, would you agree with that? Because we have more pressing issues right now. Let it be law, let it be bills passed to talk about security. What should be done to, to these bandits, to these well, terrorists? Well, why should it be about a bill about protecting their own interests at this point in time? Why, why I agree that the, the, we have more pressing uh, issues. I also want to, I don't, I want to say that, look, when we talk about uh, them dwelling on a particular issue, that does not mean the fact that they are dwelling on one does not mean they cannot do other, 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 other issues. They can also look at other issues. The, the issue of our security is not about law now, as far as I'm concerned. It's not about law. The, 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 most of the problems about, that we have now is not about law. The, what, what I believe they should be doing is to put more pressure on the executive regarding insecurity in the country to ensure that what has not been done has not been that done. That is something uh, they can done. do. For instance, that is they, what they should be doing. That, that's, that's what they should be yes. doing. But that does not mean that's, that's the only thing they should be doing. Mm. They, they do that, they should be doing other things. Because like you said, I want to agree that because major, major uh, primary responsibility of, uh, of government is security and welfare. So if we have those security in the country, the, the other things are just, uh, even those immunities you are talking about will be something else. So they, they, I agree that the, the major priority should be security issue. But that does not prevent them from doing other things. I am not in support of immunity. But I'm just saying, if at all that immunity will stand, we should give it to all other, the heads of all the arms of the government, so as to ensure that not, none of them is distracted. Just like the head of the, head of the executive is not being distracted because he has immunity, other agencies should also not be distracted, and they should not be allowed to be intimidated because they don't have immunity. Now, if you remember clearly, if, I don't, it, if, yes. I, if I'm going to be sincere, we don't need immunity. But because of politics, if we're going to be sincere. Yes, but we're not sincere. Now, in, in 2016, if you remember, the same bill was read on the floor of the lower house. It came in the wake of, you mentioned it doing um, um, the former Senate President Bukola Saraki by the CCB doing the Eighth Assembly. Now, why is there a, a similarly renaissance of this bill again? If, if, it wasn't, if it wasn't passed then, why is it, why is it coming up again? And Femi Baja Biamila was against this bill then in 2016. And, in the, and on the floor, he still did say that he doesn't want whatever privilege this bill was going to give to him, that he doesn't support it. Why is this bill coming up again at this point in time? If in 2016 it did come up, and now we're having a renaissance of it again. Hugo. Well, I, I think for, um, it's coming up because at this point, it's, it's all about interest. Right? We'll have legislatures that are not driven by uh, the common interests of their community or of their local government, of, their, of, of, their, of, of where they come from, people that they represent. It's all about, okay, what are they doing? All right? So I, I know that the other things that we're supposed to talk about, our finance is poor as a country, our economy is not doing very well, we have insecurity issues. Are they doing, any, are they doing anything about that? See, they're not, they are not doing, they, which is their primary responsibility. So for me, it came up in 2016 because at that point, it, it, it was convenient for the, for the so here at the position because they were they were facing some troubles and some challenges yeah. it, would, it would have been good but but, my, but Abima said no to it, and yes. at this point, he's saying no to it not because it won't benefit him, because he's saying something that he, he can't be the one that will make law that you benefit him. So, but, but, but yeah. on, on he, he said he, he doesn't want to be a part of whatever benefit this 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 law might bring, and that and if it's beyond it. 2023, if it's beyond 2023, then he can go ahead. Because with if, it. But if it comes into place, but by doing the next doing the, doing the next dispensation, if he comes back to the national assembly, he'll benefit from it. So at, at the end of at the end of the day, the the whole the whole interest and the whole gain is, is, is for them to benefit. Not for the people. This this is not what we need as a nation at this point. Tunji, he did say he doesn't want to benefit from whatever gains this bill will bring. And I, I, should we question his integrity on this? If in 2016 I, doesn't have, he I, was I, against, I, 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 he doesn't I, I have see, integrity. If, if in 2016 he was see, one of those I, against it, and now again he's he's speaker, he's still against it. He's not against he's it. Not against he's it. not against it. He's not. Yeah, and he doesn't. He have said it. he doesn't support no, the bill. No, he's not against he it. He's only saying. He's only saying that. Look. If I will be part of it, if you are benefiting from it, was a, he I will not be part of it. Of the no. If I will not be benefiting from so it, if you're not in support of something, then what, what is that? No, no b b because he is saying that if if they put it in place now, yes. it it will be like it's like it will be like sitting on his own sitting, sitting on his own office and making laws that benefit him. He's just looking at it from the, from me from the PR perspective. Isn't that integrity? Uh, it's not integrity. What it's far is from, that? It's, it's far from integrity. It's, it's hypocrisy. If you are the same guy that in 2016 you let you let campaign consistently on this, all right, he didn't allow this bill to have a place in the house. Yes. Now you you are you, you are in a seat where you're supposed to crush this thing, crush it to the end. You are making you are giving room for people to have conversation around this. You're, somebody you're, moved the motion. I am saying you're, just, and you're, just, and you're, just, and just excuse me from it. Yes, I, I, you, you can go out with it, but excuse me from it. It, it, it is excuse me from it. That's what he's saying. He's right. saying, look, I, I being the, one of the person that will benefit from it. Yes, I should not be part of those who yes. will make that law. In other words, let me let me excuse you. Let my deputy excuse you. Appoint a 
a speaker uh, temper, temp, uh, what do they call it again? Uh, S tempero, uh, tempero, and then uh, from there, you can do whatever you want to do. I see it as, like you said, it's an hypocrisy. Okay, I see, I see, that, I see that as, as an hypocrisy. Hypo hypocrisy. Can, we, can, we, can, we, can we enumerate some of the pros and cons of this bill? Should it, should it pass through? Well, for me, uh, there are no pros, all right? I don't see any pros. Uh, because but he has listed one or two pros. I see yeah. one or two pros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah for him, he listed. But for me, yeah. I don't see any pros. All right, see, the most important thing for our leaders is to go there and to make sure that the people are fine. All right? You are making laws. Have you, cons have you consulted with your community? All right? You are passing policies that your community, did you, did you send you there to go and make those laws? No. Nobody will send there. We didn't ask them. The ones that rigged themselves into place, we didn't ask them that. So if they want to do that, they're doing it for themselves, not for the people. All right? The people that elected you, if you're, if you're a rep from Zamfara or from Kaduna, from this thing, your people are dying. Your communities, your, your communities people are dying every day. What have you done? How have you, how have you liaised with the executive to make sure that this thing doesn't happen again? And we have the House Committee on Security and the rest of them and, and, and on border and the rest of them. What are they doing? All right? So they come and they waste taxpayers' money and waste taxpayers' uh, fuel and the rest of them to debate things that are inanities that doesn't help the people. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, your people are dying. No, I, I want to. I want to agree with him that most yeah. of the, but a lot of the intention is for their own personal benefit. And you look at uh, the, the issue of car; they want to buy now. They look at economy. But like I said, I want to say we have, we can have one or two uh, advantage okay. in this immunity of a thing. One is, like I said earlier on, we will not encourage, will not, we prevent the the other hands of the government from intimidating them or from using the the the, the, the prosecution agency of the of the of the, of the executive from taking out from from the, the them from what they are what, what they are doing. Secondly, I'm thinking. Probably, maybe those in leadership now, they now want to see to their responsibility. And they maybe the probably they are now saying, if we have to do what we are supposed to do as a, as, as, as a leader, we may, be, we may be pursued. So let's, let's put something in place to ensure that nobody will chase us so that we'll be able to achieve what we want to achieve. I'm thinking, that's, that's my thinking. That may be an advantage. If, that, if they have the, that genuine intention, yes. it will be, but I don't think so. There's most, because most time, this, like you said, most, most, of their, most, of their, most of their activities are personal. They want to do things that will, that, 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 that will benefit them in person. You know, there was a time they were talking about a lack of security at the National Assembly. And I was wondering, is there any security in the country? Would that, should that be only security at the National Assembly? Right. What about the other people in the country? Yeah. Now, Ugo, do you think it's about time they lift up this immunity on both the president, his deputy governors, and their deputies as it stands right now? Yeah, I, I, yeah I, I, right. I, I, uh, so for some people, the, 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 the argument varies, right? And uh, I think sometimes there, there is merit in, in the president having an immunity that allows him to, you know, to, to preside over the affairs of the nation for, for four years without any... Uh, uh, Legal distraction, any legal distraction that would distract him from from charting the course of the nation very well. But uh, we've seen uh, we've seen over the past, over the last since 1999, where successive presidents have used this thing not to advance the interests of the nation, but to advance their own personal interests. He, he gave a valid example of what happened under the Saraki dispensation, and we saw because. The, the National Assembly under Saraki, despite whatever anybody thinks about them, wasn't a pliant National Assembly. They were not yet to serve the purpose of Muhammad Buhari. But the National Assembly that we have now is more pliant. They're willing to do anything. And at the end of the day, they're even trying as much as to pass a bill that, that will embody them to do anything they want to do. So uh, should, should, should it be removed at this point? I think it will be fine to be removed. So everybody that is going there will go there to do anything that is right. Because if you can't give it to Mr. A, which is the president, and other, other arms of government, like you rightly said, does not does not have the same Are we even saying that? Now, now, now Tunji, we know, we know the president, um, the deputy, the governors, and deputy governors do enjoy um, this immunity clause. Do you, do you think it should be extended to the members of the National Assembly? Yeah, I've said it. I said it should be extended to members. If, if, if at all, it will be, it will be retained. But I'm, I'm also in support of the fact that, look, let us remove the immunity for everybody. But whether with or without immunity, I am of the opinion that in this country, those that will not be prosecuted will not be prosecuted. It's not about the immunity. There are people who don't have immunity in this country and they are running free. They have issue on their head, but nothing's happening to them. And, and then we have people, that, we have people. You just, you just a, said something a, a, right a, a now. Petition has been sorry, sent. sorry to cut you. Sorry to cut you. You just said something out there. That's whether the immunity or no immunity, the people in this country that will not be prosecuted, doesn't that make a mockery of the rule of law? As it is today, we are making mockery of our law because we are, we are, select, we are selecting what to do, our, who to, to pursue. I, will not I am aware in this country that a petition has been sent against somebody. Today, no investigation has been, has, has, has been, has been, has been carried out. Before now, they were saying there was no petition and therefore they cannot do anything against that person. Somebody went there, laid his life, uh, life down, submitted a submit, uh, submit a petition. To date, did you hear anything? Do, 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 that, does he have any uh, uh, immunity? Why was he not pursued? Now, uh, should you, this, you know? yeah, so lastly, we need to wrap up this segment. Um, something else we need to talk about. Now, should this be pushed to Nigerians through a public hearing? What do you think might be the possible outcome? <laughs> 
and, and just to trash they will it. Get it. Which you, is what some, some of the opponents of this bill did say on the floor, that they should push it to Nigerians and let, let them decide either to accept the, who, it or, or, or reject it. At the, at the who are the Nigerians who will do their bidding? So I think, I think, I think, I, I, I think at, the, at the end of the day, what, what is the pulse of the street? What, 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 is, what is the nation crying for? What, what are we asking at this point? We're asking for uh, security. We're yes. asking for the economy to be better so that the common man will eat. So it, that is what the co country wants to hear. That is what the people want to hear. So it does not make sense that we're pushing this thing on the people. It, it makes a mockery of their suffering. It makes a mockery of someone that wakes up at 4 o'clock to get to his office by 9 a.m. Mm. It doesn't need that distraction. For me, Bojabila has constituency members in Syria, and I find it difficult to go to work. So those are the conventions we want to hear that can help the people not work and make them get fat and not do anything yeah, and, sleep, you, and sleep inside the National Assembly. Tunji Abdul Amir, legal practitioner, thank you for your contributions in the segment. And also Oguchuku, we can call political analyst. Thank you for your contribution. Thank you. Thank, you. thank you for staying with us. Up next, beggars in Lagos State protest against harassment. Stay with us.